गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पेपर प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ क्रिटिसिज्म फॉर एम ए फाइनल दैट इज़ द पेपर फिफ्थ और द फर्स्ट पेपर ऑफ फाइनल ईयर सो इन दिस सीरीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड नाट्यशास्त्र भरत मुनीस एंड वी हैव गोन थ्रू एरिस्टॉटल वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड ब्रैच वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड डेरेडा वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड भाभा सो नाउ वी मूव टू अवर नेक्स्ट टेक्स्ट दैट इज आचार्य कुंतकाज वक्रोक्ति जीवितम इट्स इन फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ द पेपर सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आचार्य कुंतकाज वक्रोक्ति जीवितम वट इज वक्रोक्ति वट डज इट मीन एंड वट इज वक्रोक्ति जीवितम फॉर आचार्य कुंतका एंड द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ वक्रोक्ति इन टू वेरियस aspects than the um, um conclusion and the questions okay so let us first discuss what is vakrokti vakrokti or obliquity is a concept of sanskrit poetics for making an assessment of kavya or literature like uh, what we say criticism what we say criticism is here uh vakrokti दो ऑल द संस्कृत आचार्य लाइक भरता भामा दांदीन वमन रुद्रता आनंदवर्धना अभिनवगुप्ता भोजा राजाओई खीरा एंड अदर्स डील्ड विथ वक्रोक्ति इन आचार्य कुंतका हु एलिवेटेड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट टू अ फुल फ्लेज थियरी इन हिस्ट्रिटाइज वक्रोक्ति जीवितम written in the first half of the 11th century for the purpose of making an assessment of kavya or literature the word vakrokti consists of two components vakra and ukti the first which means krok indirect or unique vakra and the second means expression or expression or speech or ukti means expression or speech thus the literal meaning of vakrokti is crooked or indirect speech as in poetry uh, we do not see any say anything directly rather in very few words uh, by the using of different techniques the poet writes a uh, deep something which is very deep in the meaning so and when we read the sanskrit literature or the sanskrit poetry is far more complicated than the english poetry so uh, the indirect speech or the crooked speech or the unique speech means vakrokti in modern vakrokti has been translated as obliquity the earliest use of vakrokti is discernible in artha veda and agni purana in which it is used in the sense of crookedness later the sanskrit poets used vakrokti in their own ways subandhu used the word वेदा वेदा गद्या इन द सेंस ऑफ वक्रोक्ति अमरु एंड बाना यूज्ड वक्रोक्ति इन द सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमरस रिमार्क द फॉर्मर और अमरु इन डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द कंडीशन ऑफ हिज हीरोइन हु हैड बिकम एंग्री विथ हर हस्बैंड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड लेटर इन द बैंटरिंग ह्यूमरस स्पीच मेड बाय चंद्रपिदा अबाउट द क्वेरल ऑफ पैरट एंड जेलस मैना the parrot addressing chandrapida said that she also understood all oblique state statement and could make use of witty remarks thus in literature vakrokti was regard, regarded as dhvani alankara or shabda alankara which has two types uh, odena vakrokti that is obliquity of intonation and kaku vakrokti the obliquity of uh, paronomasia The Sanskrit acharyas analyzed vakrokti in their own ways saying that it sets off to advantage all figure of speech they considered vakrokti to be present in all alankaras and emphasized the oblique quality of the language of poet to them obliquity was the essential distinguished feature of poetry thus now vakrokti became a unique utterance transcending the common modes modes of speech and integrated with charm now let's discuss vakrokti jivitam of acharya kuntaka the most exhaustive treatment of vakrokti was attempted by acharya kuntaka in the first half of the 10th century in his treatise of the vakrokti jivitam 
He devotes nearly the whole of his text, which has four chapters, with the exception of the introductory portion of the first chapter, to the definition, classification, and illustration of his of six varieties vakrokiti. He has classified vak. Uh, vakrakta into 49 sub varieties under six major heads such as varna vinyasa vakrata phonetic obliquity pada purvadha vakrata lexical obliquity pada parardha par, vakrata grammatical obliquity vakya vakrata sent, uh, sent, uh, sentential obliquity parakrana vakrata episodic obliquity and parabandha vakrata compositional obliquity the second chapter takes up for detailed consideration the first three varieties of Vakropati. In the third chapter is dealt with Vakya Vakrata senten Sentential Obliquity and in the fourth Prakarna Vakrata Episodic Obliquity and Prabandha Vakrata uh, Compositional Obliquity. In this way Vakropati comes to embrace the entire gamut of poet poetic art. This division, which starts with the unique use of phoneme, phonem, uh, phonemes or syllables, ends up with the handling or managing of composition as a whole, ascertains that Kuntaka's approach to poetry is very minute and scientific. So, propounding his theory mainly in the sense mentioned above, he went too far in making Vakrokati the soul of poetry, as the title of the book Vakrokati Jivitam itself unfolds. Now, uh, he or Acharya Kuntaka mustered courage to blaze, uh, blaze a new trail of uh, critical appraisal and proclaim Vakrupti to be the life of poetry. Kuntaka elevated it to the status of a full-fledged principle of poetic assessment in his treatise. He defined Vakrupti as Vakrupti Deva or Veda Gadhya Bhagi Bharmiti uh, Uchayate that is to say an utterance character by, characterized by wit or ingenuity is vakrutti uh, kuntaka however means more than what his definition conveys to him uniqueness of expression born of poet's compositional skill adorning both word and meaning is vakrokati it is an indispensable character in the texture of poetry it is a striking mode of speech it is a result of a talented Poet, or in other words, it depends upon Kavi Vyapara, the poetic function of a poet. It is a poetic expression of speech, as distinguished from expression of speech, either of uh, the ordinary work of day, life, or of the scientific laboratory, the scholastic classroom, and the philosophical textbook. It is also recognized as the embellishment of the word and its meaning the physical constituent of poetry it facilitates the expression to give a kind of unique pleasure to the uh, sahardya kuntaka seems to add that there is no line of demarcation between vakrokati and poetry they have invariably the same character assimilated with each other to conclude every charming feature of poetry must be recognized as vakrokati thus Vakrata separates poetry from other forms of expression and is coexistent with the delightful nature of poetry. It consists of the peculiar turn given to the any expression due to Kavi Vyapara, which may be explained as an act of imagination on the part of the poet. In this way, Vakrata is totally related to and is uh, the result of poet's genius. M mere Vakrata does not make poetry. It must delight the mind of the reader who is responsive to the true beauty of poetry the test of akruti is uh, its contribution to chamatkara that is aesthetic enjoyment experienced by the reader kuntaka designates vakrokti as vichitra vidha that uh, which transcends abhidha the ordinary connotations so here this is what Kuntaka feels about a text of poetry or a poetry written by a scholar. He says, Vakrokti can be used by those only who have that into themselves, that God gifted, uh, who are God gifted and who have those qualities of writing such kind of uh, special kind of text or special kind of. So it is all, it all depends on the art of the poet. Okay. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing the 
classification of uh, vakrokti what kind of vakroktis are there into kuntaka so thank you thank you very much